Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Maria. Today we're making something different, so let's get to it. Okay, so I asked my daughter to go to the dollar store and pick out some items for me. So I wanted to make something different, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I did want to make something for Thanksgiving. And I told her that whatever she brings, I will make anything with it so she brought all these items back from the dollar store and i wasn't sure um what to do with most of the stuff i've never seen the little bag before which was really cute full of acorns um but i'm gonna do something with that and then the little pumpkins um i thought about it but i'm gonna make something either later this week or next week for next tuesday with it but um, I'm going to put them to the side for now. Um, but I had an idea with these and I figured I'm just going to go with that first idea instead of stressing over trying to make something else. So I am going to take these flowers and take them off the little cardboard and then I'm going to set them aside. And then I'm going to work with my turkey. Okay, so we're going to start by removing the string off the turkey. Um, we're going to take this off because we're not going to need it. I'm actually going to stand this turkey up. Um, it's not going to be hanging. It's not going to be on the frame. It's not going to be hanging on the wall. So you'll see how I do that at the end. I do like a little stand for it. Like I attach something in the back. Anyway, so I was thinking about what I was going to do with the turkey because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it like I knew what I was going to do with it but I wasn't sure if I was going to leave it like that or paint it so I decided to paint it but I didn't want to use anything dark so it took me a minute to think um you do see me with my fingers and thinking as I go but I ended up using my wood stain my golden oak wood stain the um Everything will be in the description box below. <laughs> but I end up painting it light instead of... I went with a lighter color rather than a darker color. Okay, so after I put my gloves on, I use this little sponge brush from the dollar store to put the wood stain on here. But that didn't last very long because it came apart um, after I started. But um, it ended up adding actually more wood stain than I wanted to. But with the piece that came off, I just finished that off. And I ended up um, grabbing a paper towel and just wiping some of it off and maybe getting the spots that didn't catch it the first time. So I smeared it a little bit. I used a paper towel to just spread out the wood stain and take some off because it was a lot on there. Um, so <clears throat> I used my blower to dry that off a little bit. But I had these Jenga blocks on hand already and I needed a piece of wood to put something on. But I didn't have anything that was smaller, but I ended up using these Jenga blocks and put four together. So I started with my hot glue gun, but that didn't seem to work to hold these together. So I just went with what I normally go with, which is my, my wood glue. So I grabbed that and that was a lot better, of course, to work with these jingle blocks so I grabbed the wood glue and I put these pieces together and then I put the two pieces and then I put those two pieces together with the other two pieces which makes them like I don't know like a piece of wood just to put something on there because I do plan on putting a word on there but I'm gonna paint this after it dries and I um after I put the glue on there I do let it dry for a little bit and then I paint it in green. But before doing that, I do end up sanding it down after it dries. So 
Yeah, I do use the, <laughs> the heat gun to dry that up a little bit. But then I sand it down a little bit, and then I grab my DIY paint, um, Fancy Farm Girl, which was a really pretty green for this. Um, and I end up painting this piece because I was looking for a green, but I didn't want to use the really dark one. I didn't want to go too light. So I just felt like this color was just perfect for it, actually. And so I paint this piece and then I let it dry for a little bit before I put the, um, the word on. Okay, so after letting it sit there for a good 15 minutes, I did go over it with the blower just to make sure that it was completely done. So I had these rub-ons from a while back and I used the word thankful that's like right in the bottom, cut that piece off and then I put it on top of the piece of wood so I can rub it on. So once I'm done rubbing it on, then I use Big Top to seal it in place and give that paint you know a little shine and let it, the color pop a little bit Okay, so as you can see, I grabbed the paper towel to make sure that it was completely dry and none of that stain was coming up. So it did dry completely and I moved on to the flowers. I took three pieces. So this is like in layers. So I pulled that piece out and then I start to pull three out of each because I wasn't sure. I knew I wasn't going to use the whole flower because this is a pretty big flower. So I only use three pieces out of each and I do cut all of them out, but I don't use all of the petals from all of them. So once I'm done cutting them out, I sort them by colors and then I start to glue the pieces together. I start with the darkest and move down to the lightest, but keep watching so you can see how that comes out. Okay, so once I'm done cutting the petals out and sorting them by colors, of course, I start with the darker colors and the bigger leaves because, of course, the leaves, the petals were in sizes. So I used the bigger petals first and then I moved on to like the middle size and then the small one. And I do use all the dark of the dark flower on the top part and then I move on to the second layer which is like an orangey color and then I put a few of those on there I work all the way from top to bottom you know on that 
half moon shape and then i move on to it's like a peachy with like the white tips um so after i do those then i put the lighter color on there this is like it's not even an orange it's more like a i would say it's like a coral color type with like tannish tips but it actually turned out really nice because actually the colors went really really well with this so um i don't know <laughs> it just came out cute to me because the first time i was doing something like this and i thought it was coming out really cute but um to move on i didn't use all of the flower petals for the bottom one i used it only i had some orange left over and so is that i also had that lighter color and the peachy color left over as well so after i was done with that i put the thankful sign on there just to see how it was going to look so i wanted to make sure that that was all covered and then i added more of the light one just to cover it up a little bit more and i knew that that sign would cover that piece right there so you can't really see like kind of like the start of it but you know what i'm trying to say here but <laughs> but i ended up um putting that on there and it looks good so i wanted to make a bow on here but i don't know it just wasn't looking right for me so i ended up taking it off and then i make a bow with my hands i didn't catch that on the video though so after i take this out i start to make the bow and then i glue it in place so i didn't want to have that flat and i didn't want to hang it in the wall so i start to make a like a stand for it so i grab another jenga block make a line where i'm going to put it and then that is a piece of the paint stick that i had left over from when i cut used one before and i cut the piece off of it so i had it left over and i used that to be the stand to hold it up in place um so i used a hot glue gun and hold it in there for a little bit and then once that's done i stand it up to see how it looks and that is our finished turkey so i hope you like this um this quick and easy dollar tree um craft or cute little project let me know what you think in the comments below please like and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching bye